If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the Blitz 8 a.m. offers, guys. Exciting. Very early. A lot of you guys probably aren't even awake right now. I was up to like 5 30 and then I'm I went back up. I woke back up like 7 15. So I'm kind of dead right now. So I'm definitely gonna nap after this one onto the next set of offers. But it doesn't look like there's any new offers today. I'm gonna go check see if anything updated in the store. But as of last night and yesterday, the schedule didn't seem to seem like there was any new offers. So that doesn't mean we're probably gonna be good to about four here, pending this video and what else I see within it, right? But still, excited to go through it. There's a fire fantasy pack today. That's not gonna be, of course, this specific drop, but it is today, which is exciting. Uh, one one of the first like you know public fire fantasy packs of the year that anyone can just go ahead and buy. So that's definitely exciting, guys. And now make sure you guys are checking out your solos, of course. Like I said, these are timed, so make sure you are going through and checking because we have the eight-hour limiteds. So this one expires at 4 p.m. at 11.26, right? So you want to go check through and see because you want to be getting up your uh, tiers to the Bo Jackson, right? 25 each time and so on and so forth. So make sure you are going through and playing those. Now, 24-hour limited, this one ends at 27th at 12 a.m. So that's tomorrow morning. So again, just make sure you're checking these. Make sure you're getting like you're finishing them out so that when they do advance and they do switch them over, you're, you're good to go. Um, but let's go check out the store. Of course, let's go see what some stuff is. Then I want to check out the auction block and see what kind of the players from last night are going for. So the Fire Fantasy Pack today is at 11 p.m. So that's going to be all the way tonight, right before midnight. So not something you have to be like sitting around for during the day. It's going to be tonight. It's Friday night, so it kind of sucks. A lot of people go out. You know, the Black, you know, today's Black Friday, right? A lot of people are going to be going out. Um, a lot of people are going to be probably out bar hopping you know doing the stuff people do on friday so kind of a horrible time to be doing a fire fantasy pack but i also get that it makes more sense if people have work or anything they're doing today like post family stuff but as far as 8 a.m goes guys we have right here let's go to the blitz offers so, so it's looking like all we have are these morning packs we have an open kickoff pack and a team of the week all week pack now again as you guys do know i will go through all the stuff and i will go ahead and kind of like show you guys what i think and if it's a good value but yeah, it seems like that's all we have for this exact second. All we have is that that one little set. So pretty lackluster 8 a.m. offers. Um, beyond that, to 4 p.m., we're going to have the team with bundle. Nothing crazy there. 4 p.m., we have the elite packs. So these are going to be good values, of course, these for 4 p.m. But the, the real prize is probably going to be the 11 p.m. Fire Fantasy pack. And there could still be some more surprises. This one's going to be really good. Platinum Legends. This is going to be This one's really good. This one's really good. I think that's 87 plus players. That's a Legend Fantasy pack bundle plus eight Platinum players for cheaper than a regular legend fantasy bundle that's not gonna be great tomorrow but in the short term guys really what we're looking forward to is the fire fantasy pack Although, unless they drop some kind of like surprise and the fire fantasy pack just showed up in the store later on let's do something like that they give us some really cool players probably not something we're really focused on but again today's a day to get more tickets will so remember if you want to go ahead and get tickets you have to get these guys so you know 1625 tickets so if you're trying to get the bow jackson you got to go ahead and start converting some of this stuff so make sure you guys are working on that because it will get to a point where you literally can't get them like let's say you skip you miss a lot of offers today and tomorrow and then you're down to the last day and there's only going to be enough things to get about seven thousand tickets on the final day and you only had you know so another seven thousand tickets you will fall short of about a thousand now there are solos but let's say you did those already you just well, my point is you want to get bow done earlier so you don't have to worry about any last second of buying some random trash offers that you have to do just I'm telling you just fo fo focus on getting it done earlier if you do want to go ahead and get the bow you can always buy them with coins as well now Oh, wait, well, let's go back, actually. Let, let's 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 review the pack, and I'm going to tell you guys if it's worthwhile. And typically, guys, the low Blitz Bits ones like these are actually great values because it's just low Blitz Bits. It's packs. Olden Kickoff Pack, 300 uh, Blitz Bits for one Olden Kickoff Pack and 150 Blitz Tickets. Now, if you need the tickets, it's not bad. 88 Plus is a 9%, which isn't it's not great, but it's not horrible. Personally, this isn't a, gr this isn't a good this isn't a good one, right? It's a kickoff pack, so it's an outdated pack. So you're, probably, you're really not going to get anything that you really need out of this. But... It's only 300 blitz bits so if you have a you know you did a solo challenge and that's all you can afford and you like you don't plan on spending money you just want to use what you got from the solos i recommend you use it on this so a lot of people are going to be playing through the solos and getting a few thousand blitz bits and wondering like okay i can't afford like the big ones like what can i do with this and you're gonna be, I'm just, my best recommendation is find some good lower packs like 300 750 and just pop a bunch of them you could go in like a little mini pack opening throughout all the little blitz bits you get um and again you convert them to some tickets and usually the tickets could probably quick sell for a decent coin value after after the blitz is over this one 
a little more expensive it's about double the price but it does contain an eight this is a team of the week pack right so you're getting a free team of the week pack essentially i mean with the stuff you get from solos 91 percent being a 4.5 and 89 percent being a 13 percent. so it's a much better pull rate than it is on the one below but it is double the blitz bits but you also get tickets so i mean it's not bad i mean the team of the week packs and kickoff packs i mean it's a lackluster pack and then it's an outdated pack you can get up to five of these which means that if you well this one right here you can't get up to four so you can get up to like 1500 give or take blitz tickets there and then you can get up to about you can get five here 150 so you can get about another 750 800 here so it's it's pretty interesting value in terms of just collecting some extra tickets but that's going to be the 8 a.m offers for the most part nothing else really useful at around 8 a.m right now i thought they'd be a little bit more because there's no noon offers but yeah so i'll see you guys back at around 4 p.m for offers but let's go check out like uh for as far as the 4 p.m offers do go like i said nothing too crazy i mean these are going to be decent values but that's not going to be anything that's like worth like breaking the door down for right and being right there for but um Let's go check out the auction block. I do want to see what some of the prices updated from last night because it's a good little idea. So, Bo was around 900k last night, 800k, and then you know, all the other guys. So, I want to see like if they drop a lot or like it's better to buy right away, it's better to wait. Uh, sometimes it's better to buy right away if a lot of people do the offer instantly. Sometimes it's vice versa if there's not enough out. So, it really just depends here. So, I do want to see how it kind of worked out. Uh, so, Bo Jackson went up in price. So, like, okay, so it seems like Blitz is a buy now kind of promo because Bo Jackson. I was around 820, like 790 last night when I was going to think about purchasing him. And now he went with 951. So a lot of people pulled them. They, everyone was undercutting each other. Now that the market's stabilizing out, he will come back down again. So don't, don't, don't fret about that. He will come down slowly, uh, hopefully throughout the days. Because these are just the people who got it instantly. There's going to be some people who start flooding in as they do it slowly. I don't think he's going to come down a ton, but he's definitely, he won't, probably won't stay at this price. But yes, it seems like buying them right off the rip will be a cheaper short-term value. Derwin James at 92 is only 69K. I have to imagine that's like a good training value or something, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Probably. But this Darwin James is really good. He's six foot two with 93 speed, zone threshold, hit power threshold, pursuit. Uh, he has pretty good catching, I believe. He's 70 catching is decent. Change of direction will be 90 powered up. Really good card. Only 69k, guys. If you need a safety in your team, that's just an easy, easy scoop right now at this price. And it's gonna come back up. It probably will come up a decent amount. And let's see what else we got because we have some other players as well. We have the Montez Sweats at 571 and Lamar, yes, 641. We, we saw this coming when we did the uh we were talking about the whole ticket conversion and blitz ticket conversion. Like, it was going to be expensive for him regardless of whatever you wanted to... Whatever you think this car is worth. I mean, 93 overall quarterback shouldn't be going for this much. Consider we have 95s, 96s, and, you know, overall players in general. This is, like, a 2 to 3 overall outdated player in terms of, like, meta. Mount to mention he's an improviser, and he goes for more than most cards in the game. But he is good. If you want a running quarterback, he will be all threshold with crazy speed. Although, that's kind of what Vic was uh, for the most part. And they're not, and he just falls short of that 95 overall threshold where you enter that new realm of abilities. Like that third slot with like the 95 overall improvisers can get this, this, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give you a big thumbs up, as always, guys. And, of course, if you do want to check out Underdog Fantasy, who I did partner with, guys. They're a daily fantasy app. Super awesome. My personal favorite app to use for daily fantasy. I have a code for you guys and a link in my description. If you use it, you will get up to 100 free bucks, 100 free dollars, actual currency, to play on the app uh on your first deposit so make sure you guys do take advantage of that offer it's only on your first deposit so don't 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 miss the offer and then have to come back and it, it won't work anymore but any coins link down below as well thanks so much for watching guys i'm out peace